a remarkable signal of China's path towards self-reliance in the global semiconductor industry and its ambitions for global dominance recently surfaced when Huawei unveiled its cutting-edge 5G-capable smartphone. This bold move occurred despite stringent U.S. sanctions aimed at curtailing advanced microchip production. China's potential breakthrough in microchip technology, if substantiated, promises to propel the nation's economy to even greater heights and solidify its position as a pivotal global chip manufacturer. Huawei's announcement of the Mate 60 Pro, its first 5G-capable smartphone in nearly three years, defied the U.S. sanctions imposed in October 2022, designed to curtail the company's production without Western assistance. These sanctions drew parallels with those imposed on ZTE in 2018, which nearly pushed the latter to the brink of bankruptcy. According to a 2023 report by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, CSIS, this marked a turning point in China's strategic thinking regarding the semiconductor industry. The 2018 sanctions underscored China's technological reliance on the U.S. and its allies, a dependence further emphasized by the recent wave of sanctions in 2022. The imperative for technological independence had been brewing for years. Sanctions and their impact on semiconductors. China has long played a prominent role in the semiconductor industry, with giants like Alibaba, Baidu, and Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC. Investment in semiconductors has allowed China to secure a leading position in pivotal areas such as 5G, artificial intelligence, AI, and e-commerce. However, the U.S. announced sanctions aimed at restricting China's access to Western semiconductor technology and hindering its development of advanced microchips. These sanctions were expected to set back China's progress by several years, notes Joseph Bory, director of Global Data's thematic intelligence. The global chip shortage, the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, disrupted the semiconductor supply chain, triggering a global chip shortage. The supply chain strained under the demand for remote work-enabling computer equipment and the surge in interest in 5G and cloud-based services. China was not immune to this crisis, and matters worsened in October 2022 when the U.S. sanctions came into effect. The U.S. aimed to incapacitate China's ability to acquire and manufacture advanced chips, out of concern that chip-integrated AI systems could usher in a new era of surveillance equipment and weaponry. In December 2022, Japan and the Netherlands joined forces with the U.S., barring industry leaders like ASML from selling their most advanced technology to China. The export ban on semiconductors posed a significant threat to China's economic future. The China Semiconductor Industry Association, CSIA, opposed the U.S.-led alliance, contending that the sanctions would harm both the domestic and global semiconductor industry. Key Chinese advanced chip manufacturers, including Semic and Yangtze Memory Technologies, started to feel the effects. Unisoc, a Chinese firm specializing in mobile chipsets, pivoted toward producing less advanced chips to counter the sanctions impact. A glimpse of hope. In August 2023, Huawei released the Mate 60 Pro, equipped with a Kirin 9000 S7 nanometer NMR microchip, reportedly produced by Samike. This development raises several intriguing questions. Firstly, did China manage to bypass U.S. sanctions or achieve a breakthrough in domestic chip production? Secondly, what level of government subsidies was required to support SMIC in manufacturing a 7 nanometers chip using legacy ASML's deep ultraviolet DUV lithography systems, which were known to yield prohibitively low results at this miniaturization level? In essence, how sustainable is SMIC's engineering feat from an economic standpoint? As the U.S. investigates these developments, it's possible that the sanctions inadvertently acted as a catalyst for self-reliance within the Chinese semiconductor industry. If China can successfully produce chips domestically, free from Western assistance, it could have far-reaching implications for its economy and the ongoing U.S.-China tech rivalry. China would not only reduce spending on semiconductor imports, but also accelerate the growth of its domestic industries, from automobiles to consumer electronics. Nevertheless, it's worth noting that China's microchips reportedly lag behind those produced by industry giants like Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, and Samsung Electronics, which have achieved 3NM and 4NM chips. Yet, this breakthrough positions China to narrow the technological gap that the U.S. is keen on maintaining, ultimately establishing China as a global leader in chip production.